so I am still sad about it but I was just thinking like I learned so much for that relationship I got so much out of it like one of the things I was just thinking about like he just healed so much inside of me he really did and it's because he had this father contract with me <laughs> which just sounds really weird and kind of creepy but it's actually not um but yeah it's 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 interesting to see how he came into my life just like perfectly at the right moment to teach me exactly what I needed to know we got each other through a tough time we were there for each other the amount of time that we were supposed to be I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't I don't like that. But does it matter? Does it matter that I don't like that? It doesn't really, does it? My mouth is so dry right now. Give me one momento. So, yeah, I was thinking about how, um, I got the water, but I didn't drink it. <laughs> anyway, um, so, <sighs> there were just things, like, inside of me since, I mean, we all have our... We all have our things from childhood, right? I mean, we all do. It's not just a few. <laughs> um, it is, we all do. We just, it's funny when you're older, when you're a little kid, you're like, it's only me. Like when you're a teenager, only me, only me. And the select group of my friends, <laughs> no one else gets it. Um, it's funny, like as you get older and you're like, I just remember that being that age and thinking, you know, anyway. Yeah, it's like, yep, everybody has their shit. Um, and it's always good to remember that during the day when someone's pissing you off, <laughs> they have their shit, right? They're, if they're this unhappy about this something, it's because they're, they're miserable. <laughs> Which is a good thing for me to remember right now. It's a very good thing for me to remember right now. Um, so, you know, I had this stuff from childhood, like I said, as we do, I, until I went off in that direction, um, that, you know, left my own brand of scars and marks and, like, samskaras and you know it's just my personal blend <laughs> of childhood trauma um and like in every way that i needed it that i i i, I didn't everything that i didn't get out of childhood the feelings that i i felt like i needed um i never got he did he did all of that i mean and not you know i mean he's not obviously not me, like but just like treated me so sweetly and did so much for me took took such good care of me i mean like listen to that he took good care of me <laughs> um and he was devoted to me he would do anything to make me happy Almost anything. <laughs> but it's good. Because it wouldn't have worked out. It really, really wouldn't have. It would not have. Um, oh, I hate saying that, though. I hate it. I hate saying it. I hate accepting it in my heart. <laughs> it's so hard. Um, but 
there are, yeah, there are these places inside of me that, like, were holes. <sighs> and when I, when I actually am able to relax a little, I'm a little able to relax right now for one reason or another. Um, I can feel, like, when I think about it, my, I can feel my, my chest open. Like, my heart relaxes when I think about him. <laughs> Even though I'm really, really sad about our breakup. <laughs> um, but it really, that's what he gave me. He gave me this, he just filled in the holes in my heart. You know, which I mean is ultimately a self selfish relationship. Of course I want him still around, right? I mean, who wouldn't want that? Um, but yeah, he gave that to me. And I'm a stronger person because of it. And, uh, like, so much stronger. I'm really grateful for that. <sighs> Accepting things that you don't want to accept sucks. <laughs> I'm like, trust me, I get that. I spent... 10 years of my life feeling that way <laughs> or more actually I used to always have depressive tendency but that that 10 year hole of my life in my life you know that's like that's the that's the fight you're having or the, that's the fight that I was having I don't want this to be real <laughs> I don't want this to be real. No, no, I refuse. Um, but yeah, you're just arguing with reality, basically, and that's you're never gonna win that argument. You are never gonna win that argument. This is something I have learned. Take this piece of wisdom from me to you. Never argue with reality. It will always win. So I'm settling for just disliking it intensely, like intense dislikation of what's happening, but I am accepting it. I am accepting it right the second I am going, I accept it, I'm accepting it, because I, I gotta accept it, guys. <laughs> I gotta accept it. Like that's a, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's, I, I gotta nail that one down a little bit more. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I don't like the way that feels. Uh, so I am definitely deflecting, definitely pushing it away. So clearly all my focusing's going on to this right now. I'm, I can see that I am creating some scar right now. I am creating some scars all over the place because I, my intention is so focused on this thing. And, um, he's in the past. <laughs> That's past. It doesn't matter what happened in the past, <laughs> no matter how many times we righted things. or not righted things, or just like decided like, no, okay, we can't, we have to be together. Um, we just did that so many times that it just, I never lost that feeling of like, well, maybe. <laughs> he's engaged, well, maybe. <laughs> oh, he's married, okay. I don't have that anymore. And I really, really need to come to terms with that. And I don't like it. <laughs> um, but the p purpose here, right, is to feel these feelings, to acknowledge them, and to learn to deal with them better. No, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with them better because that means accepting reality. That's what's going through my mind right now. Okay. Um, so it's interesting that that would be a thought and it's interesting that I just don't, I can feel, so this is a really good lesson though, guys, like, I can feel right here, like it's, 
it's like f not fighting it, but it's it's I don't know. Yeah, I it's it's like opening and then shutting. Like it's like a clam. <laughs> it's like uh, like opening and then shutting. Like like that in that that opening and shutting thing is like my my grip on reality. Um, not so much my grip, but my acceptance of it, right? Because you let that clam open and there's just a world of hurt. And, uh, I guess that's probably what I, what I don't want to go through again anymore. I think I kind of want to be done with that. Like, I really would like to be done with that. I don't want to, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> um, and I've got like a self-pity party going on as well, right? Poor me. <laughs> Poor me. I live in a fine home and I always have food to eat. Poor me. Um, I don't know. I think we all can, can do that. Well, maybe not all of us can get into pity parties, but I can. I used to be able to. I can't anymore. It it feels too gross. It does. Like if I start recognizing that I'm just feeling sorry for myself, it's like, oh, <laughs> I gotta stop that. I don't really want to. Um, yeah. So this is gonna take some doing. Cause I feel like. The first, the first wave of it, like the, the, I mean, it's, it was not, it's not shock or surprise, right? There's no shock or surprise. It's just that inevitability of what happened, what happened, happening, right? Like, he, we had to break up. It had to be that way. And he had to marry someone else rather quickly thereafter because it's not because he didn't love me. <laughs> of his mother and she would have died and that would have been bad so i want him to be happy and we cannot be together it's just not happening <laughs> and while i know i've known that <sighs> all right see this is relax and release right I feel this tightness and then like this looseness that's happening under here, but tightness up here. So like we're trying to get that space to open up too, which I think is just going to be relaxing and relieving, relieving, relaxing, releasing. <laughs> so yeah, it's hard not to battle reality. But that's something we have to look out for because that's, that's not actually, it's kind of psychotic <laughs> in a way. I mean, in a way, right? It's a break with reality. Um, so, yeah, reality is going to be what, it, what it's going to be. And that's just... Um, that's just how life works and I just remember feeling that way for so long that it shouldn't be this way it shouldn't be this way it shouldn't be this way and that was and then there, I mean it's not just that there was a whole lot, a lot of other thoughts that were even worse that were happening at the same time that's what caused that whole decade-long depression thing um, so for you out there who may have a similar thing happening in their brain, um, that's not useful. <laughs> but it's one thing to say that and another thing to do anything about it, right? And to actually feel it. So this is what I wanna, see this is exactly what I want this to be, this show. Um, So, sorry, um, 
Yeah, that's what I want this this whole thing to do. You know, this whole. Um, let's see if I can do this. No. Okay. Um. That just totally lost me. I just totally lost myself there. Um. Yeah, I just remember having that thought, and um, that's not a, that's not a that's not a useful thought. The thought that um, it shouldn't be this way. Um, so, if any if anybody out there is like stuck on that, it doesn't matter if it should if you think it should or it shouldn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It is. And the, the key to, to living a happy life is to accept that. You know, and not want it to be, not not, not, not want it to be, but recognizing that that want is, I mean, I think you still feel it, but you're just like, oh, okay, like, just let that pass through. Um, so that's what we're all working towards, right? So anyway, the point of the whole video to begin with was that even though I'm sad that this happened, it had to happen and it's beautiful the way it did happen because what I got from him was like an easy, like a, just a balming and healing of all these wounds that had been there for a very, very, very long time. And he made that all go away. Not all go away, come on, like, that's ridiculous. It's, he's a human being. Um, but he just, he made it, he, made, he just made me feel so much better. And um, I'm very grateful for that. And it's showing me, you know, the, the whole ending thing is there because it, I need to learn to do it for my, myself, right? Um, so that's what I, I came on to say, which is basically, it sucks and it hurts and it sucks and it hurts and it sucks and it hurts that he had to not be in my life. Um, but at least we had each other for the time that we did and it meant so much to me and I despite the pain that it's causing now I wouldn't change any of it I mean okay I would probably change that he, he would be able to stay <laughs> But short of that, short of breaking with reality, right? Um, it had to be this way. It was going to be this way. And the pain is worth what we gave each other. So I feel it's a little bit ungrateful for me not to accept. I need some water. not to just not accept it for the gift that it is I'm gonna sit with that one for a second <laughs> take the gift that I was given and appreciate it for what it is just don't don't look at it what it could be or what it should be what you want it to be look at the beautiful gifts that you were given at all, right? And that's the thing. So accept, not accepting this, not allowing this to be in my reality <laughs> is really ungrateful because I'm not accepting the moment, the gift that was given to me. 
it's not it's not it's not really grateful to not accept things <laughs> um so that's something that's interesting to think about i give that to you food for thought um but so end of story pain but grateful that's it i'm gonna remind you guys all out there that even though things can get you all messed up in the brain you can always choose to have a grateful night.